If you're a woman who at some point has had less than satisfying healthcare interactions or outcomes, you can probably relate to why this book is important to you. Now more than ever, it is critical that healthcare be individualized, and that means considering factors that might particularly influence your risk of disease and how it is treated. Sex and gender are key components when considering how women experience disease how diseases manifest in women, and even how treatment is approached. Our biological sex matters. Whether you are a woman and have XX chromosomes or a man with XY chromosomes, your genes determine many aspects of disease risk and expression. Gender, the social constructs under which we live, including cultural norms, roles, and relationships, also matters. As women, we tend to be caregivers. We often put our own health at the bottom of our to-do lists, given all of the other things that take precedence in our lives, such as caring for children, parents and pets, maintaining careers, doing laundry, grocery shopping and cooking, you name it. Indeed, we are often more diligent about maintaining our cars than our own bodies. Why is it that we need to be given permission to take care of ourselves? And when we finally do see our clinicians, medical professionals who provide health care and guidance to their patients, why does it often feel like no one is hearing what we are saying? Or that a one-size-fits-all approach is being offered that doesn't take into account who you are as an individual? Navigating the healthcare system brings another set of challenges. Knowing what type of clinician to see, knowing when virtual health care is appropriate and when it might not be enough, and knowing when to seek help at an urgent care center or a hospital emergency department, and when to wait for a regular appointment. Let's face it, women in general, and particularly women of color and sexual and gender minority women, have not always been factored into this whole healthcare schema. Medicine as we know it today has been based on the 70 kilogram, 155 pound man in every aspect. Prior to the early 1990s, female animals or humans were not included in research studies. 